Hello, everyone. My name is Dave Watkins. I am recently joining Patriot, and I am the Chief Product Officer. I started Patriot in July. So it's a very circuitous path. Um, before Patriot, I was in the startup space mainly, um, either with my own companies or with others. And Joe and I have known each other since our days back in corporate, when we both were in technology at a different company. And so when I left my last position in telemedicine, I just was casting my net to see what might be out there. And um, lo and behold, Joe had a position for a um, chief product manager, and it just made sense to join him. I've, I've known him for a while and for a long time, actually. And working with him is just something um, I've always looked forward to doing again. Culture of Patriot in three words. I would say innovative, passionate, and caring. Yes, it's a it's a company like no other. And by that I mean just from a cultural standpoint, it is one of a kind when it comes to really valuing employees as its greatest asset in my travels and i've been <laughs> through corporate and startup and and what have you but and a lot of companies maintain that employees are their best asset but when it comes push to shove economic forces or bottom line pressure employees are usually the ones that feel the negative brunt and you know patriot because of joe's leadership and and the folks around him they really put actions to the statement that, you know, the life work balance is something that they really, really um, believe in. And the actions of that are, are played out four day work weeks. And it's just, it's a very comfortable place to work. The people that work here are very quality top shelf folks and everyone kind of watches out and cares for everyone else. And you don't have, um, you know, silos of operation and, and certainly there's there's no fear working here. You, you, just, you just know that the company has your back and it really makes it a pleasant place to work and give your best to. I guess the single most impactful experience is that meeting, and I, and I haven't met everyone, unfortunately, but the, the folks that I have met to a person have just been very open and kind and willing to share um, whatever knowledge they have to help and you know being new in a company is is often um, challenging because there's a learning curve with the culture and, and your duties and what other people um, their responsibilities are but at Patriot you know everyone is just so welcoming because everyone is driving to the same goal which is to um, you know make the company successful and, and by virtue of that they are also going to be successful and that's just been very rewarding. Um, you know, a lot of times in a lot of companies, people kind of guard their silos because they don't want to share information in fear of losing their job. But there's none of that here. Everyone is very, very open and all are willing to help and, and you know, support each other at any time. Uh, for me, I love what I do. I, I've been doing it a very long time. I love technology. I love all aspects of technology. Um, I've immersed myself in it for decades of my life. And that really jazzes me up in the morning. And, and Patriot is using technology that I haven't actually had a lot of domain experience in. So I really love getting up in the morning and using my you know, previous skills and expertise to acclimate to everything that we're doing here and, you know, everything that we're, we're building together as a company. And so I love learning. There's an opportunity to do that. Um, and I love applying all of my learned knowledge towards uh, accomplishing the goals that are set for me. On a personal level, it's, it's been an interesting change for me. I've, again, I was in the startup space for, for a lot of years and that space, there really is no off switch. You're, you're pretty much on from the moment you get up uh, to the moment you go to bed and any time in between. And so there's, there's a, there's no 
real line of demarcation between when work starts and your personal life takes over. You're, you know, you're always attached to your phone. I could always dip into my office on my computer. You know, and in the Patriot, they, they make it very clear that, that that's not the expectation and it's not really what they want. Um, you know, Joe and, and, the, and the leadership of Patriot are very attuned to the fact that folks need to have a life. They need to engage in their own personal journeys and hobbies that they enjoy. They need to spend time with their families and they just need time away where they're not doing work. And so that personally for me has been an interesting transition when I'm still kind of getting used to. So as a chief product um, officer, my responsibilities are overseeing the development of uh, the new software that Patriot intends to roll out in the future. And so I marshal together internal resources and external resources, um, the tools that everyone's going to use, and then bring uh, all of the um, tools and teams together to build out the software that we're going to use to drive the future of the company. And so that's been hugely rewarding to have some autonomy to do that and Joe's support. And again, the, the support of the entire company to, to move that ball forward. And so it's, it's a big responsibility. It's one that I love and I, I, I love being able to uh, interact with different folks and, and kind of put the puzzle together. Yeah, my advice for anyone looking to enter the cybersecurity field is just be open to learn because there is a tremendous amount in this space that one needs to understand, not only at a high level, which I, I would encourage you to do first, but also then at very granular details of what cybersecurity means and, and the various vectors that people can use to infiltrate um, somebody's environment, be it a corporate environment or even your personal laptop. And so someone coming out of school, there, there's going to be a fairly hefty learning curve on, on what that is and applying the knowledge that they have towards solving those problems. And so I would just encourage an open mind, a willingness to learn, and also you have to be very adaptable because cybersecurity isn't a static business. It's ever changing, it's always morphing, and you're always on the defense. And so you really need to be able to pivot, change, apply knowledge, gain new knowledge, apply that knowledge, and you just have to be able to adapt.